Hello everyone, in this CSS layout, uh, we are going to check on float and create property, what does it do and when do we use it. Uh, the clear properties will be presented by Pema Seldon and in this I'm going to explain on the float properties. Float property. The float property is used for positioning and formatting an HTML element. There are four properties. Number one, left. Number two, right. Number three, none. And last one is inherit. In the left values of the float property, the element floats to the left of its container. And in the right value of the float property, the element floats to the right of its container. And in this none value of the float property, the element does not float. None means default. And in this inherit values of float property, the element inherit the float value of its parent. And the float properties has a couple of different uses, but for this example, I'm just going to make a simple floating image and gonna get a text to wrap around the images. The first thing we need to do is that uh, is to grab the image you want to display uh, here I've added an image and put the source is equal to image uh, that you guys already know. And this alt attributes is just a bunch of text uh, that will show up if we can't find our image. Here I've also uh, gave I've also gave the image uh, some attributes and uh, the pro flood properties. And now, uh, and I've also added uh, two paragraphs. This is, uh, let's say, this is paragraph one and this is paragraph two. And this, the first property is none value of the float property. None means default, as I have said earlier. So when we use this uh, none value of the float property, none value of the float property, uh, there will be no effect on the position of the element. Uh, which means uh, the element does not float. Uh, this is the output when using the nine value of the float property. By default, the image is wrapped inside the two paragraph. Uh, and uh, the second property is left value of float property. Uh, let's now give uh, a float property uh, left and give uh, some margins uh, around uh, the image. Uh, we now have the image uh, at the left side uh, with a paragraph with a paragraph wrapped around the image and the background colors I've kept is a silver and the third one is right wheel of the float property uh, you can also float your image to the right uh, you can see it here uh, what happens when you use uh, the one, what happens when you use the flood when you use the right wheel of flood properties that uh, the earlier image which was on the left is being floated to the right side and uh, this is the output uh, when using the right wheel of the flood property and the last uh, one is uh, inherit wheel of the flood property uh, what happens when you use the inherit value of the float property is that inherit uh, the inherit value floats the value of uh, its parent and this is the output. Clear property. The clear property is used to specify that on which set of floating elements are not allowed to float. When we use the clear property. It will start from the next line rather than placing itself next to the floated element. The clear properties can have the following values. Clear is equals to left means it specifies that elements are not allowed to float 
on the left side in relation to other element. Clear is equal to right means elements are not allowed to float on the right side. Clear is equal to both means floating elements are not allowed to float on the both side. And clear is equal to inherit will inherit the clear values from its parents. Clear is equal to known. It is the default value. It allows element to float on the both side. Right now, the image is float on the right side, where these pairs of elements are wrapped around this image. And to clear this float property, we use the clear property. Since it is a class attribute, and the name of the class is para one dot para one. Let's go to right. Here we can see that the this paragraph element appears in the new line and is no more placed next to the floated element. And here the image is floated on left. And to clear this, before the image is floated on left and this float is clear. And let's see if it's a and here the one image is float on the left and another is float on the right. And when you use the clear is equals to board and save it. Here we see that uh, both of the float is clear. And when you use the norm, here we can see this float is allowed.